Hello Taurus. Welcome to another love reading. This one's going to be all about the person that you are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are their true feelings, thoughts, intentions towards you? What do you need to know about them? Keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they will not resonate with every Taurus watching, and not every Taurus reading will be for you. And let's jump right in for Taurus. Spirits, angels, guides, messages, please. Guidance for Taurus. What does Taurus need to know regarding love? This reading will be for those of you that are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind, okay? For Taurus, what do we need to know, Spirit? I'm going to have your energies on one side, your uh, your person's energies on the other. Feel free to, res um, what was I going to say? Feel free to flip them if it resonates better. Okay, for Taurus, what does Taurus need to know regarding love? Okay, I'm going to do things a little bit different for you guys in terms of laying out the cards. Okay, so this is your energy here. This is what's going on in your connection right now. Oh, wow. And your person's energy is here. And we'll flip them when it's time to look at it. Bottom of the deck, the Nine of Pentacles. Freedom, independence, security. With the Nine of Pentacles, they tend to be single, independent, like I said. Now, what's going on in your connection? I feel like there's some sort of big opportunity here. However, with the Nine of Cups reverse, I'm getting almost like there might be a compromise of some sort. Like it might not be everything you wanted. It might not be the most satisfying offer. It could be dealing with a uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We'll have to see what that's all about. But I feel like there's definitely somebody here making an offer to you or there being some sort of development in this connection that leads to something more solid, more stable. So why is the Nine of Cups reverse? Why is the Nine of Cups... Okay, I want to use this deck instead. Clarity, please, sir. Angels, guys, quick words. In love. Okay, tell me about this Nine of Cups reverse. Why is the Nine of Cups reverse? Temperance, Sagittarius energy. So it could be that satisfaction will come later. Your wish being granted, you might have to be a bit more patient. Tell me about the King of Wands. It might take a bit of time to get everything that you wanted. Why is the King of Wands here? Nine of Pentacles again. I feel like this is someone that is very attracted to you, admires you. I feel like this might be you here. This Nine of Pentacles. You have a lot to offer, or at least you're very sure or secure, or you have a lot going on, whether you realize it or not. Maybe you're very attractive, or you take care of yourself. Because I feel like this King of Wands is like, I want that. Like you caught their eye. This could be somebody completely new to you, Taurus. Or someone that maybe you've been talking to, but it hasn't really been um, an official relationship yet. You know, maybe you're, this is kind of unfolding now. I get one more for this King of Wands. Five of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Interesting. I, I, I'm getting the message this person feels like they're not in your league, like you are out of their league. Or perhaps you're off, their offer is not going to be good enough for you. And I think they're right. Because the Nine of Cups is reversed. 
You know, Taurus, this might be somebody that's just not your type or not what you were looking for in a partner. Um, maybe this isn't the person that you had your eye on. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. Maybe this person just doesn't have as much financial stability as you do. I get the sense that they don't feel like they have as much to offer as you do. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Justice, sleeper energy. This this offer is 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 I feel and it's the right offer even though it might not look at it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's going on today with my readings. I cannot get it together. So hopefully this reading is not too confusing. Because my words, I just can't get them out. Okay, so this offer, when it comes in, or the fact that this relationship is developing, I think it's the right relationship. It just may not look at it like, okay, it may not look like it from first glance or on the surface or whatever. But when you look, when you really think about it, it's the right offer. It's a fair offer, basically, with justice. Libra energy, if I didn't say that already. This might have taken a while to develop, or like I said before, this might not be your ideal partner. Maybe you had an idea of what kind of partner you wanted. I'm also getting that perhaps some of you are dealing with someone who wants to make things right with this offer like maybe they weren't able to commit to you before and that was disappointing because that's exactly what you were interested in and maybe you didn't get that from them before but now they're trying to step up because maybe you've frozen them out and this is like their way of making up for it i do see that as well we'll have to see what we get when we look at your other your energies here for each other so let's get some insight into you and this person. Spirit, can I get some insight, please, regarding Taurus and this person that they are dealing with? What are the energies between them? What do we need to know for Taurus? What do we need to know for Taurus? Tell me about Taurus. What energies are they bringing in this con connection? Tell me about Taurus. Moving forward. You're moving forward into a new chapter. So you're making moves here, Taurus. Transitions, new beginnings for you. Tell me about the person Taurus is dealing with. What do we need to know about them? What do we need to know about the person that Taurus is dealing with? Difficult decision, options, choice, and decision. What else do we need to know about this person? Time out. Maybe this person has taken way too long to make up their mind about something. I don't know what this is in regards to. I have second chances at the bottom of the deck. Maybe this is a um, an offer to fix things or make things better. What else do we need to know? For a Taurus, what else do we need to know? Frog, healing, renewal. We really need to know about this the person Taurus is seeing with. Cleansing. You could have done some inner healing, Taurus, and you're ready to move forward. Perhaps someone's trying to heal things with you. Turtle. So the turtle is kind of a traveler. They collect experiences under their shell, very adaptable. Um, 
they, they're, you know, of the ground and water, that kind of energy. I feel like this person possibly, I don't know, I'm getting, I'm getting a few messages. This person could be older than you, more experienced or has had a lot of experiences in their life. I'm getting also someone who's more of a wanderer. Sorry about that. My dog is in the background. This could be somebody, Leon, that's more of a wanderer. Maybe they don't sit still. Perhaps it's not in them to commit. We'll see. Let's start with you over here. What energies do we have? The world reverse, Knight of Wands, and the High Priestess. I feel like you want to make a move, but maybe there hasn't been a lot of closure here with the world reverse. Maybe um, maybe you haven't been able to make a clean break of it. Maybe there's some doors that need to close here. Let's see. Tell me about the world reverse. Why is the world reverse? Judgment. So I feel like you're having realizations, learning lessons about what's happened or this previous cycle you were in. Maybe you haven't made a judgment call that you need to make in order to close this cycle and start a new one. There could also be, this could also be a situation where you're dealing with a person who doesn't want you to move on. Um, maybe, you know, if they're coming to you with an offer to fix things, maybe they're hoping that this will keep you from moving forward. I do see that as well. But I think this is you, you know, having to make some sort of a decision. And maybe you haven't made that decision yet, just yet. So you haven't been able to really fully move on here. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. What's this Knight of Wands about? Five of Cups. Disappointment, regrets. Maybe you regret jumping into something. Maybe you've had um, disappointments because of this person. Maybe, maybe there was a lot of passion and chemistry but there wasn't anything solid like a commitment maybe you wanted something more stable and instead all you got was disappointment some of you could be having doubts or regrets more, more, more regrets than doubts regrets or um you know re you're reflecting on past decisions because maybe you jumped into something too quick Maybe things developed a little too quickly and it ended up in some sort of disappointment. I feel like this is more related to the past. Tell me about the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here? Yeah, I feel like you're listening to your intuition here to make a decision, Two of Wands trying to decide where to go because both decisions or both paths would lead to different places. I feel like a lot of you, part of you perhaps already knows what decision you want to make, but maybe emotionally you're not there yet, right? Like you can't pull the trigger just yet. Some of you definitely were dealing with a fire sign. What's this two of wands about? Why is the two of wands here? The wheel of fortune. So maybe some of you haven't made a decision yet because you're thinking that, well, what if something changes? Well, what if something is different? Well, what if it's different this time? Um, what if it's all a matter of timing, something like that. I feel like a lot of you don't want to make a mistake. So if this was a decision, you know, that maybe 
it's probably a decision that you can't just go back, turn around and make a different decision. I feel like this is probably like, I'm picturing someone like moving places, like moving locations, like a physical move, for example. Well, that's not so easy to just, you, you can't just unmove that quickly, you know? <laughs> Something like that. So let's look at your person's energy here. Knight of Pentacles. I feel like they're the ones making an offer. Eight of Wands. Wow, Queen of Swords reverse. So you could be upset at this person or there's something they're not telling you. I feel like this person's going to reach out here with the Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Why is the Eight of Wands here? Yeah, Knight of Pentacles again. So I feel like this is somebody that's going to be communicating with you about this offer. They're the ones extending this offer to you. This could be a commitment. You know, they're offering you commitment here. So why the Queen of Swords reverse? Move this over. Why is the Queen of Swords reverse? Yeah, the Hermit, Virgo energy. The Hermit is very quiet, keeps to themselves. I feel like this person could be keeping something from you or they're just not telling you everything. Maybe they're shy or someone that's typically private. The world wanted to come out here. Let's see if we can get one more. Can I get one more for the Queen of Swords reverse? Why is the Queen of Swords reverse? Knight of Swords. Maybe they're just thinking about what to say before they say it. Yeah, Two of Cups. So what I'm getting here is this person's probably... Um, Whatever move they're making here with the Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles is probably not a quick move. Um, it could be that this person doesn't want to mess up this opportunity, right? Maybe they feel this is the last chance they have. Or if their offer isn't the best offer, if my offer isn't, you know, something that Taurus would accept, I'm just wasting my time. I can't have that happen. This needs to be a solid offer from the get-go so that Taurus actually considers me. <laughs> Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Wow, Tower. And then the High Priestess. So this could be something that surprises you, Taurus. This could be something shocking coming your way here. Um, maybe you're just minding your own business, ready to make moves in your life, ready to move on with your life. And here comes this offer from this person. And it's like you weren't expecting that. Interesting. So expect something surprising, shocking. Um, the High Priestess is here, which tells me almost like, and then there's a High Priestess over here too that you have. Maybe your intuition is telling you that something's up, but maybe this isn't what you're thinking. Maybe you thought, or oh, so-and-so is going to talk to me, but there's no actual commitment or offer that they're going to bring to you. And then they finally do. And you're like, wait, that's not what I was expecting from you. Interesting. Maybe because this person up till now, they have only, you know, either they've said one thing and done another, or all they are able to give you is something very small, nothing very solid, nothing that you can count on. And then here they come with an actual offer that has value. So this might, you know, surprise you. 